metal shavings are everywhere. It's like dangerous glitter. Hey guys, welcome back to Gas Tax. I'm Warwick and you're watching Dream Garage Build Part 5. If you haven't checked out my other videos, I've got one through four out there right now. From cleaning out the garage to assembling these cabinets to installing the car lift and now today is organization day. What I'm going to be focusing on is organizing all of the odds and sods that are left over. I bought all the new tools but I have all my old tools. So a lot of duplicates in there so I want to sort out what I need and what I don't need from my tools. Sell what I don't need or at least put them away for now and then get this garage space in working order so I can start working on my new project car. If you haven't checked out my Instagram channel, it's at gas tax, you can see what my new project car is. Over the next couple months, I will be working on that car and potentially, most definitely, <laughs> getting it ready for some ice racing in this winter coming. So with that said, let's jump right into it. I have a whole bunch of power tools that I don't want to leave out and charge. So what I'm gonna do is actually drill a hole through the cabinet here probably around here closer to the back and plug in this power bank so I can have all my charges arranged on the shelf here probably just one I'll probably do this one with all the different charges I'm trying to figure out if I want to stick with DeWalt, Ryobi, Milwaukee I'll probably switch to Milwaukee but right now I gotta a mix of power tools so that'll be further down the line um, but in the meantime I want a single place where batteries can charge so I'll probably make it this one so I can reach all the batteries uh, and then I'll have a nice place to organize so I'm gonna work on doing that quick so I can get all of this in there and plugged into there so what drill bit I'm gonna use to drill the hole is probably gonna be this uh, step down bit I think it's called uh, it looks big enough to fit the the head of the extension cord through here. Look, there is. You can drill a tiny hole, split the wire, rejoin the wire. Uh, don't really care to do that. Um, I'm not too worried about drilling a, a hole on the side. What I might do eventually is get a grommet so that uh, wire doesn't chafe on the sharp ends. I still don't think that'll be a problem because nothing's moving here. But I'm going to work on drilling that hole and see how it goes. Let me show you what I've done here. My battery's gonna die, so hopefully it doesn't die while I show you. So this is pretty thick. Should have thought of that. It's two layers, obviously it's as thick as this is. But I got through it. So I think I'm actually just gonna use this extension cord, mount it up here with some double-sided tape, take up less space than the big one. Alrighty, one thing I like about Sonic is they come with these little foam liners. Yeah, it's nothing, it's super cheap, but it prevents you from scratching the paintwork on here. So I did remove that because those metal shavings would have melted straight through this. Uh, and now it's good as new. So I'm gonna mount the outlet once I find double-sided tape, put all this in there and on to the next project. And just like that, the charging bay is done. So I'll keep the tools up here, power tools. Uh, I can't find my charger for these old school stuff. Part of the reason why I wanna upgrade my tool set is because I'm rocking two sets of DeWalt batteries. I know I have a charger somewhere. So as soon as I find it, I'll put it here. Because all of these tools work of the old battery. Uh, nothing wrong with these tools, it's just, you know, old. I think I bought them in uh, 2010. Time flies, man. Anyways, as you can tell, I got my sweatband on. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's only 74 degrees today. I might sweat a lot because I'm fat, but that's probably not it. <laughs> These are some of my duplicate tools. These are all what I had on display on my wall over there, so I could easily grab them. Um, on the magnetic strips I use over there, highly recommend them if you don't have this set up here. I'll put a link in the description below for those. Um, but, so now I'm going to Trash the things I don't need, like these 
I mean, these are cheap tools. Husky had it from a long, long time ago. Nothing wrong with it, but I don't know. What Should I Goodwill these things? I'll probably make a bin of Goodwill for tools. And then uh, tools I don't want to throw away yet until I make sure I have everything there that I'll just put away in storage. And if I don't use them for a year, I'll probably probably goodwill them as well or sell them. So that's what I'm gonna work on now. So I had a buddy stop by that I haven't seen in a while. So that took me four hours off of my schedule. But good time catching up. But anyways, while I was catching up, I did clean up all the stuff. I sorted out what I needed, uh, trash and beer from catching up with my buddy. But then also uh, the tools I don't wanna use, put a bunch of stuff on the the cabinet said that I got to sort out that I want to keep. And now I am on to cleaning this area. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to be working on everything I took off the area I put on in this bin here. I'm going to work on filling up this area, uh, cleaning off that completely, making sure this cart is back to uh, standards there with all the tools back in there, and going over all this stuff. I think I'm getting much closer to uh, done here. But with that said, let me show you what I got going on. So I got all of this stuff I got to put away. I had, as I showed you earlier, a drawer of uh, loose nuts and screws and whatever, but I had too much. So this cabinet came with the house. I am thinking about getting this set up. I can get this whole cabinet set up with a, a Costco brand for $1,600. This costs $6,000. I'm thinking about setting up this whole wall with that, that exact setup, minus the TV, <laughs> maybe the TV, to put over there so I can do a side-by-side con side side comparison of a $6,000 tool set or cabinet set versus is a sixteen seventeen hundred dollar cabinet set so i have more space for stuff because right now i'm running out of space so let me know in the comments below if you want to know the difference between the six thousand dollar cabinet set versus sixteen hundred dollar cabinet set and maybe i'll purchase it but anyways back to my point i'm running out of space so this came with the house so what I've done is separated from lag screws and screws, bolts, washers, spacers, nuts, miscellaneous, and some uh, extra tools. Um, if you've ever worked on anything, ever, <laughs> you know if you don't have something like this, it could stop your day, your whole day, trying to find something. So I don't like keeping this stuff because it's always a mess to organize, but 100% necessary. You may need one washer to fi fi finish a project. So keep all your extras. Spaces, like when am I gonna use this? I have zero clue. Guarantee you I will use it. So that's why I'm keeping this drawer set here. It's not accessible, meaning it's not in one of these tool sets, but I've made it accessible, meaning when I, can, when I need it, I can find it. So that's it for today. I've done quite a bit. Uh, it is kind of a broken video because I got sidetracked with a, a buddy I haven't seen in a while coming over. So let's just uh, recap of what we did today. Today sorted out most of the trash or goods that was on the car lift, cleaned out the shelf there, organized the tools per drawer, uh, sorted out this area. Those are all open projects. That's where I like to keep open projects. I sorted out this workbench, took all the crap off of there, sorted out this work dolly. Uh, I do have way too much crap, so I still will probably work on cleaning some of this stuff out. I don't know if it will be a video, because I want to start getting working on my car. But every now and then I might uh, throw in a video of updating the garage or changing the flow of the garage, because this is just what I envision is working for now. Once it starts becoming a functional garage, things will change. So be sure to like, subscribe, and share the video if you want. And let me know what else you want to see.
There's a reason why I put the tool cabinet on this side and not on the back there. If you want to know why, let me know in the comments below and I will deep dive into why and how I chose everything I did to build out my dream garage. So thanks again. See you next time.